Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome to Grace Blossoms for You. Today I want to address a question that I was asked. What to do with all these leftover threads you may have? And I have come up with some things, but um, some of them might be better ideas than others. Anyways, so, so far I have come up with a few things. So let's see how many we can... Um, think of or go through here. First of all, um, this came to me late last night. I thought pillow. If I was going to make a flat pillow for my junk journal, it might look something like this. And so I've emptied a tea bag and I opened it up so that I could stuff it with, you guessed it, thread. Now, I think this could work, but when I actually went to do it, um, I'm not thrilled with the results. I still like the idea, but maybe I would need something other than the tea bag that I used. Um, yeah, I have to keep thinking on that one. But I was thinking, how cute would it be even if we took like hearts? Uh, let me see if I have any. I do. I have a couple. So, you would have to find a way. I mean, you could glue them. Obviously, you could glue them. These aren't exactly identical, but we could trim that afterwards. So, if I wanted, I'd probably use thinner paper. This is a little bit thicker. I still like the idea of see-through, but maybe just not a tea bag. Anyways, I'm going to try the, we can make a puffed heart about that. And then I'm going to just heat up my hot glue here. Because I think that will work better. And then since this is opaque, we wouldn't need to see what color it is. So I'm just going to take my creamy colored here yeah I mean usually we're trying to make things as thin as possible in our journals but I was thinking you know sometimes you might actually want to have something that looks a little poofy or fluffy or filled you know like a quilt would be filled or um I don't know. I I used to have this trim that was hearts and it was um they had like a filling in them which was really cool. So why not? I mean, if you want to make a pillow type item, then why not? All right. So I just need a tiny little spot that's not glued. And this will dry pretty fast. The tea bag, I used the other glue and it didn't, I mean, it will dry, but it kept sticking to my fingers. So that wasn't really a nice experience. But yeah, I mean, this uh, puffed heart thing might be a great idea for, say, Valentine's Day. I know, we're not anywhere near Valentine's Day, but I mean, it's coming up soon. It's, you know, it's a few months away, but it's never too soon to start thinking about things, right? Anyways, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to just push that in. It's enough to see that there's something in there. I might do just a little more. I 
And the only reason I had all this thread is because I had a mishap when I was learning how to thread bobbins. So some of you might have more thread. I try to keep what I can, but Okay, so yeah, probably, I mean, it is what it is. It's supposed to still be flat, but it's supposed to look like it has something in there. So um, I'm just going to trim it some. And then you could probably use it like in a cluster or something. And two for Valentine's, you'd probably go for a darker heart. I think it makes a big difference when it's trimmed, so hopefully that will look better. that's actually not bad I will ink it anyways we're talking about using up thread that you have laying around and you don't want to throw out but you want to use it so I think this is a cute little project and I will keep this in my ideas journal so that I will remember that it's an option. That's cute. I mean, it's cuter than that. So yeah, I probably won't end up using that. I did keep a tea bag just for, you know, faux tea but it looks more like hair than tea so yeah I'm gonna call that not too much of a success story there anyways I'll just put that away and then I will bring out some of the other things that I have already made and so all right so that's one idea the uh, puffy heart or pillow. Then, if you like fringe and you like to sew, you could incorporate it into your um, journaling cards. All I did here was um, sew it down and it was curled and then I cut off the, the edges to make it look like a fringe. And I did go over it a few times so that hopefully it would not um, come out. If I really pulled on it, it might. But I also could have glued it on first. I just didn't want to sew through glue. Now you could glue it instead of sewing. That would totally work as well. Then if you like tags and you like tabs, you could do something like this. I mean, what I did here was I just took a wad of thread and folded it a couple of times and then I sewed it on. Not too much of a problem going through the machine. Um, I did sew around. I just have to decorate it. I don't know if I love this idea, but again, it is an idea. So you could use it as a tab. Okay. And again, you could sew that or, or glue it. Then I was doing a project with artist trading cards. And I thought of two ways to use it. So first of all, I used it as a backdrop instead of cheesecloth. And for some reason, I really like the bird. Because when you 
put the thread down like that, it reminds me of a nest somehow. So that's one way to use it as a backdrop. And then on this one, I didn't want to put a button there, but it, to me, when I when I glued this down, it looked a little bit like a bow. And then I just put that little word tag there to uh, act as the button and then to hold that down. So to me, it still looks a little bit like a remnant of a bow. So again, a little bit of a used, but like an embellishment there. So that's another idea. Then I was making a flower with lace. And so I got the idea to use the thread on top of the lace to make it look like those um, parts of the flower, you know, that give it that um, nice dainty look. So there's that, okay. Then I was sewing a ruffle and I decided to put some thread in there. Now that's maybe not everybody's cup of tea, but I mean, it could come in handy. You could use, I've seen, and I don't know who this was. I saw somebody use embroidery thread and so it was a lot neater. It wasn't as, um, you know, this looks pretty messy and kind of all over the place, but it is down and I was able to manipulate it so that um, it kind of made a, a wavy line. And I would use that probably again in my ideas journal so that I will have a record of it and I will know it's a go-to. Okay, so then, oh, this is going pretty fast. Um, probably my favorite idea and this is in a page that is two ply and I still have the threads on here from sewing what I did was I put two pieces of paper together then I took some lace that was really wide and had a natural kind of way to fold it and so what I did was I stuffed the lace with the thread and it's a beautiful blue color, which I don't know if it is picked up on the, on the film here, but it picks up the blue, if there is any, on the picture here. So it be, the lace shows up really nice because of the dark thread and then the pick the blue from the thread picks out the blue from the picture. So I thought that was a really neat combination. So what I did was I sewed it once close to here and then once close to the edge of the paper. In fact, I even went off the paper here, but it's still on the lace. I contemplated sewing it one more time, but I decided that was good enough. And then I did trim the edge just so there would only be a little bit sticking out. And uh, again, if you pull on it enough, obviously it's going to um, come out. But once again, you know, you could use glue. It wouldn't have to all be sewn. But yeah, so far, this is, I think, my favorite project so far. And then what else did I do? I started a page in my ideas book here and okay so credit to whom credit is due this I just I did use hot glue and I just wrapped the thread as good as I could and then I just glued it down and I saw Pam at the paper outpost do that so that was her I'll give her, uh, I think she, I don't know if she thought of it, but that's who I saw do it. Then I took some thread and I put it through the button and tied a knot and it just looks really messy, but it looks a messy job sewn. 
but you could use actually these lines for writing. And then I had some organized thread that I think I pulled off a towel or something. I don't know if you can see this. Okay, so I tied a bow and then I glued it down with a tiny little button. So there, it makes a bow. I think that's cute. And I think that would work in lots of places. And then here again, you see the thread behind the bird. And I really like that. So how many ideas are there? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, nine ideas. And uh, hopefully if you find yourself with an abundance of thread, you will find a way to use it up. Let me know if you like any of these ideas. Which one's your favorite? Let me know. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.